Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I want to talk about DTMF. DTMF, or Dual Tone Multiple Frequency, is a in-band audio signaling system traditionally used in voice channels for digital signaling. This is useful for when you need to dial a phone number, for example. So DTMF is most, off, uh, most known for its uh, 3x4 keypad on a standard telephone, but can also be used for any arbitrary remote station control. In amateur radio, we use this quite a bit, although we don't limit ourselves to the 3x3, uh, 3x4, but we use the full 4x4 matrix defined in DTMF. DTMF it consists of a pair of frequencies being played for each key, which is, means that it is unlikely to be detected uh, incidentally in normal voice conversation. The eight separate tones are four of them, one for each row, and then four of them for each of the columns. They've been very carefully selected so that the harmonics of any one doesn't happen to line up with another. Today I, I breadboarded up a quick little circuit using a MT8870, which was a useful chip back in the day. For do, It is a single chip DTMF decoder. It's very simple because it's just the one integrated circuit. You feed audio into it, and then with a standard color burst crystal, which is 3 megahertz and change, you can then, out of it, it spits out four bits of the DTMF key pressed, and then a fifth indicator lamp, which I have at the top here, indicator line as to when the data is good. How I have it set up right now is this is all breadboarded up, up here, straight out of page 15 of the Zarlink data sheet, and then here I have a GM300. GM300s were, were a standard commercial radio, that were available for both VHF and UHF and are particularly popular with the amateur radio uh, community due to their very easy application in remote stations and digital packet radio and as repeaters because on the back of the radio they have a 16 pin I.O. connector that exposes everything you need to control the radio. I currently have this radio set up with a fixed code plug that includes every packet channel on it and then a bunch of simplex channels in the experimental band which we're in right now at uh, 145750 is the middle of the experimental band which I use for most of my experimentation. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my FT60 right here and I'm going to key it up and then I'm going to type in DTMF codes and then you're going to see on these four LEDs at the bottom here and the fifth one above it uh, the DTMF code being decoded and then an indicator lamp when it is detecting a code. So I'm now going to key up the radio and then type 1. So you'll notice when I when I was pressing 1 the top LED lit to indicate that it was a good tone and then in binary down here we have 1 0 0 0. So counting up the keypad 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 0 is indicators of 10. On the keypad, there's one, one through nine, zero, a star and a pound, and then what people are most people are not familiar with is the A through D on the right column. This was traditionally used in military for various levels of alert, um, so flash alert, etc. But we use it mainly for uh, non non numeric control, and so when you're using the nine, the, the ten digits over here for dialing a phone number or something, if you then wanted to indicate some other mode uh, beyond dialing in numbers, you get four extra keys to play with. Um, starting with the asterisk, star, pound, then A, B, C, gets us up to 15, and then D is indicated as a zero. Um, so, this has been Kenneth, showing you how to build a real fast and easy DTMF decoder. Um, this can be used as a part of a larger discrete logic um, remote station that you can then control remotely over amateur radio. W6KWF, ID. Um, that being said, in most embedded projects now, you can get enough processing power out of a small arm or a relatively fast 8-bit or 16-bit processor. You can do all this in DSP, but I enjoy building some of this stuff discrete. So again, this has been Kenneth. Thanks for watching. Have fun.